So Rapsodo have just released a brand new update again. And here is a live reenactment of the competition whenever they see that Rapsodo releases an update. No, 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 no. Because every time Rapsodo release an update, it is absolutely insane. And this one is no exception at all. You see, one of the things with budget launch monitors is a general consideration of what third party software should I buy if I'm using this particular launch monitor or that particular launch monitor or whatever. The next elephant in the room has been subscriptions. And do people want to buy a launch monitor that has a subscription attached to it every year or not? So Rapsodo releasing this is an absolute game changer because it means that even within your subscription of the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, which you need to play any third party app anyway, you now have increased graphics, you have increased ranges, you have increased practice ranges with targets. It is absolutely insane. And in fact, I think from looking at it, I reckon it compares to GS Pro. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into it and check it out and see what it's all about. So as you can see here, the main screen is still pretty much the same. But what you're going to get as soon as you update this is you're going to get this that comes on your screen and it's going to check the graphics of your device, whether you're using a phone or an iPad or whatever. And that's going to just match the graphics versus the speed so that you can optimize the performance through the app, which I think is fantastic. Well done, Rapsodo. Then what we're going to do is we might just start on the target range. So we're gonna go in here. And one thing that I did notice as well on the target range is if I go net because I'm hitting into a screen, the Titleist RPT Pro V1 ball is now available, which I have. So I'm not 100% sure when that was actually available on here to select, but it is now. And then we can go down and you can see that you've actually got recommended graphic settings. So my recommended settings for the target range is on max. You've also got high, medium and low. We're going to go continue. Now I'm going to go to the right T box, 123 pin and continue but we can see this that the graphics of this look absolutely phenomenal in fact that you can go in here and you can also check the bird's eye view of what you're trying to do but i really do like this graphics update it's definitely something that's pleasing to the eye of most people who are using home golf simulators or launch monitors and something that we've really become accustomed to so that's you know, something that not a lot of people talk about when they do reviews is what graphics are people used to seeing and what graphics do people want to see I think this ticks the box. Let's have a crack at the first shot. That was a very stiff, sore swing. Am I gonna be in the water on the first try? I am. No, I'm not, I'm on the green. Lucky, 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 because that was not good. But again, really do like the way that it looks and I feel as though Rapsodo has pretty much obliterated the competition when it comes to value for money. Value for money in Rapsodo's proposition is incredible. You get three of the RPT balls when you purchase a unit. You've got a Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. You've got 12 months worth of the free subscription. With the purchase of the MLM2 Pro, you've got extremely accurate metrics, in including measured backspin, measured sidespin, shot shapes, all of those sort of things. I've done plenty of videos where I'm testing the numbers against the Skytrack Plus. And for $1,099 for the unit only, it's unbeatable. That's a shank. Okay, so it reads shanks and uh, I've just been in the car for about an hour and a half so my back is not moving. Apologies for that. That is my excuse for the morning. Finally, a nice, oh no, maybe not. Oh! So let's change that tee box because I'm obviously not getting there very well. I can go in, I can go to the target settings. It's gonna allow me to change it. What's this one over here? What if we go to the left one? 147, there we go. I like that number two. All right, so I forgot to change it to a, a nine iron. I had it on pitching wedge, so now we're, we're on nine iron. That was nicer. A little bit pushy. Oh, that might need to go. No, that's okay. Yep, that's okay. So this, I really, really love these graphics. And what I was saying before about the choice of a third party app that comes into consideration when purchasing a home golf simulator is that for the budget options, the native golf simulators didn't really, sorry, the budget golf simulators didn't really have great options in their native app. Now, Awesome Golf is personally one of my favorites because I love doing a lot of this stuff. I love target practice. I love hitting into small greens. I love having varying options and Awesome Golf provided that. But now with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, I know that they had this before. 
but the graphics are so much better that I'm going to be way more inclined to jump into the app and actually hit into these screens. All right, so jumping into the Wrap Soto range, what it does, as you can see, it says running quality graphics, uh, running graphics quality assessment. And basically what that's doing is making sure that I can optimize the speed of the device with the best quality graphics that it can put out with my iPad that I'm actually using to project this onto my screen here. Now guys, while that's running in the background, I did want to mention that 24-7 Golf have an offering for the Rapsoda MLM2 Pro that is the cheapest, best value offering on the planet for an outdoor golf simulator bundle. So if you're looking for an outdoor golf simulator, you can get the Rapsoda MLM2 Pro, you can get a heating mat, you can get a heating net and side nets included as well for only $1,999 Australian when you use my code DMAX200. It'll take a further couple of hundred bucks off the already discounted price for 24-7 Golf. So if you're looking for something for Christmas, make sure you get onto this because with this new Rapsoda MLM2 Pro update, that is literally unbeatable and insane value. If you're looking for an indoor simulator package like this as well, they have a whole bunch of different options for varying budgets. Make sure you check them out. Again, the discount, applies, uh, the discount code applies, DMAX200. So check it out. You can see my recommendation there is medium. So that could be in relation to my the speed of the internet here, but we're going to continue without a target. And I believe I have an 8-iron in hand, so we're going to go down to 8-iron. It's not a Callaway, it's just I haven't updated that. Amazing, amazing graphics. I've always loved Singapore being in the background there with the MLM2 Pro. And now, of course, just with these updated graphics, it's really gotten better and better. Might have pushed that one. Nope, it's coming back. But you can see the speed of this and the responsiveness with the graphics when it does that quality graphics test is incredible. And the graphics look fantastic. Um, I really am blown away. I'm actually blown away that Rapsoda have been able to put this level of quality into a unit that is this cheap. All right, let's do one more and then we're gonna get onto some course play and see how that goes. Again, nice tight little draw there. And really good numbers for me with an 8-iron, 153 metres of carry, 119 ball speed, 86 club speed, smash factor of 1.39 with a backspin of 5,528. I'll get the number out. But absolutely love it. Again, not going to labour on this a whole lot because you guys have seen the ranges, but the graphics, the quality, the update, two thumbs up for Rapsodo so far. Let's test out the course play because that is what everyone who uses GS Pro is really going to want to know. Do they need to renew their GS Pro subscription or has Rapsodo just saved all of those people that use GS Pro a few hundred dollars a year? Let's check it out. So the course that I'm going to play here is one of the favorites on the channel. If you've been on my channel for any period of time, you'll know that I absolutely love Pebble Beach as a home golf simulator golf course. I believe that it offers a whole lot for pretty much everybody, especially if you're hitting irons in your garage like I am. So we're going to go Pebble Beach, um, continue, and we'll just go, let's go the white tees. We'll have some fun off those. I like playing off different tees. We're going to put the terrain penalty on as well, and of course hole flyovers because we want to see the graphics and what this is offering. Now, I did notice that this actually starts in portrait for some reason. It does a whole flyover and then it switches back to landscape. Not really sure why it does that. That's something that they'll probably fix, I'm sure, but it just seems to do it. So you'll see it now. It'll click back into landscape. Not sure why it does that. Um, okay, so we've got 169 there, three meters uphill. We're going to just hit an eight iron and then probably another eight iron into the green. All right, so definitely a great start. Hit that one pretty well, 145, 147. Aesthetics, the graphics look great. Um, they look amazing. I think there's generally more trees on the right there in real life with Pebble Beach, but that's okay. Three meters uphill, 115. We might need to go up a club here. We might need to go to a seven. Probably should have hit seven off the tee, but let's go. That was nice too. And hit and sit. No. Actually, that was a lot better. So one of the complaints that a lot of people had with the Rapsodo course play with the old stuff was that as soon as your ball hit the green, it like would bound on and you didn't really get any kind of benefit 
from spin, whereas that one hit the ground, I hit a 7-iron into a green from 160 metres, playing 3 metres uphill, and I think it stopped pretty good. Loading the next hole. Let's see what this hole flyover does. See if it goes into landscape or whether it stays in portrait. And that's in landscape. Okay, great. So for some reason, it's just the first hole that seems to be in portrait mode. And then we get the hole flyovers again, all in landscape, which, I mean, the hole flyovers look great. I'm going to say the detail of the trees is probably not quite there yet. Um, generally, there's a lot more trees down the right-hand side of this particular course. Being a famous course... It is a bit of a letdown. You think that they would go there, but I think I'm asking a lot, really. A wrap soda here. They've they've just given us an incredible update, so we can take what we get. It's nice enjoying this draw coming back for me. 165, 168 total. So really, what I'm doing here is testing out the graphics, testing out the responsiveness, and just testing out how it feels in the course play mode. I'm not a massive course play guy with the indoor simulator, but something like this on the MLM2 Pro that is super easy to set up, gets me onto playing courses. I'm probably gonna play it more often. Um, normally I would use the Skytrack Plus and TGC 2019. Again, a fantastic option, but this budget option, value for money, I'm gonna say it again, is insane. So we've got a 145 layup here, and you can see that you can pull it up on the map. I'm gonna put the map down. I'm going to sit a 9 iron. I think that was a 9. That's a pitching wedge. Whoops, that's all right. Perfect position anyway. 126 to 3 metres uphill. Again, that's another perfect pitching wedge. So that kind of worked out pretty well. Let's go. That's looking pretty good. Gets up a little bit. Get in the hole. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. And there we go. There's a birdie. We've got a par. We've got a birdie. And I'm pretty happy with that. So the Rapsoda MLM2 Pro, the brand new update. There's a little bit more to it than what I've just shown you. But really the concentration here is on the graphics. It's the course play. It's the ranges. It's the target ranges. Giving everybody an enhanced level of experience yet again from such a great device. Now, I give massive kudos to Rapsodo because they could have just kind of rolled over and took the easy way out and said that they've got some course play, they've got some software, but then they also have third-party vendors like GS Pro that can handle that for you if you really want those enhanced graphics, which in turn would cost the end user a lot more money because we've got to consider the cost of a GS Pro subscription annually every year and those extra few hundred dollars a year plus the Rapsodo subscription does start to mount up for such a budget home launch monitor device. However, they didn't do that. They've gone, you know what, let's increase the product offering within our package of the MLM2 Pro. We're gonna give this update for free to everybody who has a subscription, and it really puts into question, do I need to buy GS Pro anymore? Don't know, a great software GS Pro, it's absolutely fantastic. If you wanna save yourself a few hundred bucks though, get excellent graphics, excellent course play experience, Rapsoda now has that in its offering standard. All right, guys, well, that's it from me today. Rapsoda MLM2 Pro, new update. I absolutely love it. I hope you did as well. If you do, make sure you smash that like button, comment a positive comment. I'll get back to every comment in the comment section. If you do want to pick up one of the Rapsoda MLM2 Pros, I have the discounts in the description below. Make sure you do that. My discount code is DMAX200 with 24-7 Golf. Make sure you check it out, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.